I'm Fraser Jones from Independent Audio. I distribute the uh, Cedar range of equipment here in the US, along with Sonifex and Audio Developments and Coles Microphones and Merging Technologies. But we're really here to talk about this brand new product from Cedar, which is the DNS2. This is a uh, two-channel dynamic noise suppressor. It uh, has uh, analog inputs which can be line mic or 48 volt phantom mic inputs with line outputs so analog it also has a digital in and out um, um, plugs we've then also got a um, you can have two separate channels of noise reduction it has something that we call learn which actually learns the noise and adapts and takes out the noise. Uh, we'll give you a little test of that later so that you can see how effective it is. But this technology is now, whoa, probably 15 years old. We got a um, Academy Award, a SciTech Award for the uh, technology about 10 years ago for our original product, the DNS 1000. But now we've developed this and we are hoping that location sound engineers will start processing in the field with confidence that they're not going to mess up the audio. And that's really the point of this product, right? It, the, techno the technology existed before, but it's really small. Yeah, it's small and portable. So yeah, 12 volt um, input for the power, and it's in a light, small box. And we've never, had, we've always had just digital interface before on the other products. Now with the, with the analogs, we can cover a lot of things. So. Yeah, it's a, it's a really exciting new product. We've got tremendous response to it already. Here we are, this is the only ex unit in existence at the moment. So we're hoping to be shipping these by the end of May. So uh, it's very exciting. Shall we give people a demonstration? Yeah, why not? Absolutely, yeah. We're going to actually talk into the um, DNS mic here, which is a Pearl um, Cardio mic. And... Um, we can hear the, um, the noise of the hall, and then just by pressing this button, we get rid of it without actually affecting the, um, the voice at all. So that's the uh, noise of the hall, which is very, very loud, and now it's gone. That's as simple as it gets. We should uh, talk about price and availability. Right, uh, we're, we're about four weeks away from having product, and it's going to sell for $3,999. For you know the Cedar technology is pretty pretty affordable. Uh, latency? Um, it's non-existent essentially. Seven samples is what we've measured it to. So Seven forty-eight thousandths of a second. Yes, exactly. So That's good. You know, there's there's no, that was one of the reasons that we've changed the way that you know TV and film was being made because people could do this processing without any of the problems of lip sync and that sort of stuff. I also think I'm not a fan of compressed post-production schedules, but I think the reality is that post-production schedules are compressed or sometimes on some projects non-existent, and to be able to have this as one tool in an arsenal. Um, again, not to replace... Uh, yeah, I know. I think the, the, the thing is, is that you know, it's a, a, yeah, any good mechanic uh, has a, a toolbox full of stuff, and this is just one of those tools that you keep in your box for when you need it. Yeah, and as you say, the uh, the production, uh, the post-production schedules are getting crushed, the budgets are getting crushed, and you know, if you as a location guy can deliver better sounding tracks than the next guy, you're going to get more work. So that's my theory, anyway. Nice, nice. Thank you. It's a pleasure.